Okay, yo, it's Benny G, Freezer Fem, 92.7. Um, I said we've got a special guest up in here. We've got H2O inside the place. Firstly, just want to explain to the listeners, just firstly, who is H2O? Because there's quite a few of you, so... All right, well, we're, we're H2O. This is Oz and Solution. We're, uh, we're H2O, and then these guys here are Platinum. Mm. Would you Hi. like to say hello? You're right. <laughs> we're the vocalists on the track. Okay, okay, okay. So, I mean, where, where are you lot all from? We're from Manchester, Platinum. We're from Manchester. Um, H2O are from Nottingham, is that right? Nottingham, Leicester. Slash, Leicester. Slash, 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 Essex. Essex. <laughs> Slash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's two producers, three vocalists, H2O and Platinum. Yeah. Like, so, what, so some of you from Manchester, some of you from Nottingham, Like, how did you hook up then? Go on, we'll let H2O <laughs> <old> tell <laughs> you. Tell us, tell us about your time we there. We knew we were hot, right. you see. Right. Right. <laughs> how did the competition go? What? Right, how okay, it started. Competition, oh. yeah. So we'll start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go on. Platinum. We started off in a competition in Manchester four and a half years ago. Mm. Um, it's called Urban Superstars. Um, basically, we've done a track for that. Um, we didn't come first, second, or third. We didn't come anywhere, but that track went massive. It okay. went, we went on to, we gave it to Jamie Duggan to remix, and he put it out there. Basically, that track um, won an award in Birmingham, wasn't June it? Of the year, June of the year, yeah. Um, H2O and that, well, that's well, yeah, well, they we heard were... about us. <laughs> well, we, we, we were uh, hot. We... There wasn't really <laughs> many hot, like hot. vocalists up front at the time on the yeah. 44 scene. You'd hear the tunes, but you'd never see like the visual side of things. So us as platinum, we decided to turn that brown into mm. getting you like a, a visual side of things. So there is like an artist that you can link to instead of just linking to the producer or the DJ. Yeah. There's artists that you can link to. So that's where we turned it around. We created a bit of noise, and yeah. then obviously they heard the noise. Yeah. Mm. And then well, like H2O, we were on a, we were on Freeze FM 107.9. It used to be in Nottingham. Yeah. Yeah, Back yeah, in the yeah. day, um, <laughs> and that's where we hooked up. And then we uh, we were obviously playing playing tunes out on the station every day, like I'm sure you are. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And then we thought, you know, what, let's just make our own tunes that we can play on the show. Um, and then yeah, so we became H2O. And then for our managers, we had about Platinum, who were making a load of noise. Mm. And uh, yeah, and then we all just hooked up. All right, man. Well, I mean, like in well, in London, the track you've done, what's it going to be? It seems like it's come from nowhere to so just all of a sudden in London being everywhere. But like. How long's the chat been about? Because I'm sure it's been about a long. Yeah, that's, that's the funny thing. Mm. Cause it hasn't come from nowhere. It's like yeah. London's been in nowhere while this is happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's all, all up north. Uh, everyone knows mm. this track. It's been it's, it's made over over a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, and it's been caned on the scene. Like everyone's oh, playing it. And, and the good thing is, it's mm. lasted as well. It's been playing from then till now. It's still getting played. Mm. Um, and uh, basically, Ministry picked it up and took it to London. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so what would you say London's definitely behind when it comes to oh, all these yeah. type of tunes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I suppose. Yeah, getting a big there, surprise there is, when you, know, you see what's coming. I can't say, you can't say they're completely behind because obviously there's, there's uh, producers coming from London which have taken some good steps in the baseline scene. Um, mm. uh, so we're not saying they're completely behind, but, but it's been hard to get baseline into London. So, I mean, you said baseline. Is that the, the genre you definitely define this track as? Yeah, man. Yeah, there's yeah, quite yeah, a few yeah. names to it. 4-4, four, four, niche, baseline. There's, there's all different ways, but they all mean the same. So mm. mm. we're just we're going with baseline. Yeah, we're yeah. going with baseline. <laughs> <laughs> From a London point of view, a lot of people would probably hear your track and they might just call it UK Garage. What would you say the main difference is though between baseline and the original the baseline. UK the Garage? Baseline, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Simple, simple. It's all about four four drive and baseline. The drive, it's always a four four beat. I mean, obviously mm. there's a skip on it, which that makes it sound like the two step. Um, mm. But the baseline mm. is the driving force, um, and uh, you know, we're putting the vocalists on it. We're making. This, yeah. Different sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's big tunes back in the world for garage days like Y Tribe, whatever, whatever, and then mm. that is what you call proper garage together. I mean, yeah, bass. yeah. With bassline, it's more pronounced. The bassline is more bam there. Do you get what I'm saying? So mm. it's all just there, bassline. I had, I had T2 on the show, yeah, and um, he said that he expected the bassline scene to grow, and he, and he, he thought it would become even more popular. Than the original Gary scene was. I mean, where do you see the, the whole future with Baseline? I think if uh, I think if London gets on Baseline, then Baseline could be massive because mm. like London, I mean, Garage was always. I mean, I was down south at the time, so you guys probably know better than I did. But for me, like Garage was always very, very London. It was you went to mm. London every mm. weekend and you go down, you know, all around the areas around there. That was Garage. Yeah. But yeah. Up here, up north now, there's this whole Baseline scene going on, and it's 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 bigger than I remember Garage being. I just and so if like London jump on it, this could be a massive. There's some thing. amazing producers coming mm. through, like Virgo, DJ Q, TS7. There's some amazing but producers, raves, amazing vocalists. The niche raves now are like the, the Garage raves that I remember going to back in the day when everyone was raving. Yeah, like, you remember raving, mm. You know what I mean? And that's how niche is at the minute. It's a proper rave. Everyone's raving. I, you know, the right. It's not the 
not really raise. It's more like, <laughs> yeah, I'm appreciating what you're saying, but I'm not going to get down yeah, to you yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying. Like, I don't know how old you are, but did you ever used to go to Smooth back in the day? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is what all the baseline raves that are going on up north, mm. that's what they're like. Girls are all dressed up. Guys are dressed up. Everyone's yeah. on the dance floor. It's just vibing. Mm. Oh, wow. mm. So, I mean, why, why do you think it is, though, that London has just hasn't really caught on to it completely yet? Because you've had your own culture within grime, do you get what I mean? And you've <laughs> had a lot of pre- predominant artists, do you yeah, get what yeah. I mean, within grime, which has been doing their thing for such a long time, pushing out the mixtapes, and, yeah, they're doing their thing, do you get what I'm saying? So that's probably why, not not a fact that you've not listened to it, it's just that you've been concentrating on your thing, do you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. now it's like... Ras, now it's get because it's getting like it's national radio food, and yeah. videos. This is where it's got to come now. And like Channel U's taking some of the mm-hmm. baseline stuff now. So yeah, now it's that it's not a case of being ignorant. It's just a case of people was yeah. get concentrating on what they did at the times. You get what I mean? And get London did garage best and grind best. You get what I mean? Yeah, so, but at the same time, like the baseline scene, it's not fussed whether London likes it or not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, true, like the true. baseline, the baseline scene's just running. And it's doing itself. It doesn't need London to support it. And it's like now London's opened up, and that's yeah. that's a good thing but mm. you didn't need London do you know what I mean like the, the scene was it's a northern scene and the northern people are really proud of this scene yeah. that they've got yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like it's a no anyone you speak to it's a northern thing yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean yeah. and like for London to be on it now is cool and it's not that they were late on it they didn't they didn't know about it to start yeah, with yeah. and if they know about it now that's only better do you know what I mean that's yeah. only gonna get bigger yeah. so I mean what is it just bass sound that you lot do do you do any, any other genres we started, started as R&B. We started, yeah. like, we do everything. We're yeah, just like yeah, yeah. musical in a sense. We do every kind of writing across the board. But as for what we're putting out now and what, mm. we're, what we're looking to hit the UK with is baseline because, yeah, yeah. you know, we, 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 we diverted. We, we, we were doing, everyone's doing the grime and the R&B. And at the time when we started doing baseline, which mm. was like four years ago, now it comes to doing the baseline. We're like, we know exactly what we're doing. Do you get what I mean? We know our scene inside and out. And the DJs. So, yeah. And the DJs. Mm. And we've built up a good network and it's what we do best you get what Mm. I'm saying so yeah man (laughs) alright so like let's talk about the video yeah like (laughs) where did you get the inspiration for that video like was it based on any of your own school no no, I wish I wish (laughs) that was all down to the director man he smashed it that video Johnny smashed it he was the man he came with us we met up with him he had this whole thing about he wanted to go down the the Centrillion school thing (laughs) why (laughs) not it's full of excitement you know what I mean and then we whatever Johnny just go with it (laughs) it he he smashed it and then we turned up on the day and then there's girls all dressed up in little he just wanted to see the girls in short skirts come on little brads I'm not and stuff. I'm not denying that. Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying it was good fun to go down to. So yeah, that's what the video was, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, but the, the part of the video which was which was most important was um, that it was the girl stripping. No, no, no. <laughs> it was a, it was a fun video, and uh, yeah, it, it was not directly you yeah. know based on anything, whether it's London or North. It was just a fun video. Yeah, for it track. definitely stands out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Ah. Mm. And it's got some characters in it. She's a character, yeah. the great dancing guy. The nerd guy's become yeah, a legend. He's, 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 he's a nice dancer. He's Everyone knows him now. Mm. All right, so what's it going to be? It's, it's out in the shops 18th of February, yeah? Yeah, man. Digital um, download on the 11th. On the 11th, yeah. Yeah, Can't 18th of the shops. Um, I mean, what's going to be coming after this, though? An album or...? Well, yeah, we, well, we have we'll an, be album, coming an with album, album, our album, baseline album. Oh, okay, yeah, it's gonna be two separate things. It's gonna be H2O. We're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah. working on our thing, and then Platinum have got their thing coming yeah. as well. So it's a Platinum thing. That's what the album's gonna be called. From one okay. becomes two, and then two becomes four, and then baseline will just oh. take over and it'll be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, man. I'm gonna get on the tune out on the 18th of February. I just want you lot to introduce it. It's your own track. All right, this is H2O and Platinum inside the place with Benny G, and this is what it's gonna be. <laughs> 